Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Jersey with me C. Waddy here in Farming Simulator 22 where I'm currently in the middle of doing some cultivating on our uh, previously um, canola field um, and it looks like I'm going to have to do some stone collecting after I've done this because we want to get the field prepped and ready for the next seeding period. Also want to get rid of all these weeds that are growing on the field. And I've also been doing some work with the plough since the last video um, to merge some of my fields together as was previously talked about. Uh, for example, Fields 8, 9, and 10 are now all one lovely field. And I'm currently in the process of joining 11 and 12 together and also creating a new bit of field for them. Um, and I've also, off camera, added and installed a, um, a horse barn on the map. Now, people are going to be asking, why have you installed a horse barn, Bonnie? Based on what you've just recently spoke about on Riverview, about how horses are completely waste of time in Farming Simulator 22 because they don't make, any, make you any money at all. Well, the simple reason, and the simple answer I can give you, is that I've added horses to this map, because I deleted them on Riverview. And there's still one achievement in the game I have yet to unlock, which relates to horses. I thought I'd got all the horse related achievements on Riverview, on my Riverview save, so I was quite happy to lose the horses. It turns out, having checked my Steam profile, there is still one more horse related achievement that I need to acquire in game. Um, so, hence, I've added horses to this map so I can get that one elusive achievement <laughs> that I need. Um, obviously, on this map, I'm hoping to get some other achievements as well that'll um, work towards my platinum 100% completion trophy um, award for the game in FS22. However, there's one trophy I can't get until next year. Until April 2023, which is the achievement for loading up a save you haven't played for one year. So yes, ladies and gents, I am giving you advance notice that at some point next year, I will be revisiting my Hout Baylor on save. Just to get the achievement in that. On that map. For loading up a save I haven't touched for a year. And I think it's April, about April 21st, I think it is, um, that I need to go and visit that. So I'll probably do it in a couple of days after, just to make sure. Um, but I'm hoping the other achievements I have yet to get in game, I can get in this save on this map. And those are achievements relating to selling grapes, selling olives, uh, selling cotton, and selling, I think it's sorghum. I think I need to sell something like half a million litres of sorghum to get one achievement. Which I'm quite surprised I've not done across all my other saves across the last year and two months since this game has been out. I would have thought I would have harvested and sold way more than half a million litres of sorghum by now. I mean, on Calmston alone, I would have easily thought I'd smash that out. Given the size of the fields on Calmston and how many seasons I played on Calmston, and how many big sorghum harvests we did, the only thing I can think of is... Do I actually have to sell the sorghum at a sell point? 
as opposed to selling the sorghum at a production. Because if I'm putting the sorghums into a production building, does that not count towards the achievement? Because that's the only thing I could possibly think of where I may have fallen short, because I'm pretty sure in most of my playthroughs and across most of my maps, um, sorghum I tend to always deliver to the grain mill because the ratio of sorghum to flour is much higher than any other crop. So you get more flour for from sorghum than you do from wheat, oat, barley, etc. So I pretty much, and because sorghum is a high yield crop compared to all the rest, I think that's why I, I think I've tended to always put sorghum into a grain mill. And that might not count for the achievement. But we'll find out. We'll find out, like I say, on this map, because I'm hoping to plant some sorghum on a couple of fields when I get chance to next year, next spring. And we're going to start trying to work towards having 500,000 litres or more in my silo. Get the sorghum in the silo to start with. And then we'll go and sell it. Okay. Um, and it'll also be a similar thing with grapes and um, olives. It'll be interesting to see if the olives work on this map because I'm using the olive trees mod and I'm not using the, the giant's olive vines um, it'll be interesting to see if I correctly get um, the game recognises my harvesting of the olives and correctly assigns me the um, you know correctly detects that I've harvested you know, a million litres of olives <laughs> from those trees or whether, because I'm using those trees, it doesn't recognise the olives that I harvest from those, so therefore the game says you've harvested no olives. We'll wait and see. Like I say, the other achievement I need to get is one relating to the horses, where apparently I think I need to ride a ho ride horses for a com total distance of 50 kilometres. So periodically, I'm going to have to go to the, the horse barn or corral, grab a horse and take it for a little ride round the map. <laughs> now we're obviously fairly late in the day here in August. I've been working, like I say, working on my combining fields, joining fields, and all that jazz. So let's leave this to a worker. We'll go check on, I believe it's the um, Tri-6 that I'm using. Oh, I've also bought a, a car, ladies and gents. Okay, and the reason I bought this is because I have to, again, another achievement I need to unlock is the one for driving a vehicle, a car, 100 kilometres on a save. And the reason I haven't got that achievement thus far in my FS22 lifetime is because I very rarely use cars. I typically always sell them. The first thing I do on any map is sell the pickup truck because I never use them. I typically use tractors for transporting materials around, or I use trucks. So, it doesn't come as any surprise in the game to me that um, I have the achievement for driving a tractor 100 kilometers and a truck 100 kilometers, but I don't have the one for driving a car. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a little. Um, I've got a pickup, I've got a little trailer to assist me with uh, feeding the horses. Because again, maybe in the past, like certainly on Riverview, when I did horses on Riverview, I must have used a mod horse pen. Because on this map, I don't have any custom horse pens, so I've had to use the Giant's ones. And the Giant's horse pen is really annoying, but to the fill trigger, for adding the food and straw is inside the pen 
and oddly the building is so small you can't get anything in it <laughs> so I'm like how am I supposed to feed the horses hence I bought this trailer and I bought a pickup truck and I figured I can just drive around and feed the horses of course I've done that thing that I've been doing a lot fairly recently um, on saves where I've given the horses one of their required food types A and I've pretty much filled the pen just with A so the oats that they need to achieve a hundred percent production is a bit of a problem because I can't fit the oats in the pen now until they've actually consumed some hay I've messed up and that's something again I've been, I've been having that issue just recently with FS22 playing on different maps different saves with different animal food requirements some work in cereal some work in parallel some have additional food types I tell you what, it gets really confusing keeping track of everything. I kind of wish, and I say this, I kind of wish Farming Simulator 22 still worked the way Farming Simulator 19 did, whereby with animals, the actual food type had a capacity. So for grass, sheep eat grass so there would be a capacity for grass that was a separate capacity from the total food amount however for sheep and chickens that would actually be the same but for cows for example total food capacity on this is probably 1.6 million liters for my cow pen so it would be nice if the total mix ration capacity was 400,000 and wouldn't let you put more than that in same with the hay the grass the silage etc I guess it's the same when it comes to the pigs you know or let's focus on the horses you know if they've got a total capacity of 12,000 litres okay would it be nice if half the capacity you know oat capacity or base food capacity was 6,000 litres Hay capacity was 6,000 litres to prevent you from overfilling um, a food type that one food type over another one. You know, by having the, the individual capacities, you would prevent overfilling and messing up your, um, your feeding of your animals. But anyway, we're going to head in here. It's a bit tight, but it saves me reversing in. And then we can obviously deliver oats to the horses as and when they need it. They won't need much because, like I say, I've already fed them. And there's my uh, lovely horse pen. I've ridden two of the horses already. I've ridden, uh, I think, the silver one. Um, yeah, he's 100% ridden. And I think this guy, the black horse, is also 100% ridden. We might go and ride another one. Um, a little bit later on. But what I want to do first of all now is come down and obviously check on Mr. Trisex where I've been plowing and combining fields 11 and 12. I'm just currently working get rid of the, the bit of land down here uh, which was just empty space. Um, and obviously I've gone, I've, gone, I've gone fairly close to the trees on my um my new field edge I've, I've kind of worked around the trees i decided not to delete the trees um so i've just worked around them and then like i say i'm just clearing out this empty bit of land here in the middle currently hopefully i've still got no it has removed my it's also lost my uh, uh, 
um, GPS setting. A little bit more to do over there as well above field 12 and then what I'm tempted to do is just turn off the allow field option hand over to course play or whatever and let him plow the entire field the whole area again just go over it plow everything again Yeah, we're getting the old tricyx in action today. Do a bit of ploughing because it makes sense. He's the most powerful tractor we've got. Not that this plough actually requires a lot of horsepower. Pull it. But it's, it's a good thing. Like I say, then we'll have a great big massive field here. To um, plant stuff on, and like I say, probably aim to put sorghum on it. I think will be my plan. And then a couple of our other fields as well. We're going to chuck sorghum on. So next year's harvest might be very um, sorghum heavy and focused. So we're going to carry on doing the cotton until we get the cotton achievement. <laughs> See, I'll just have to go through and plough all this stuff. So that way then when course play scans the field, it scans the whole field and doesn't see that as being an island and therefore works around it is what tends to happen which is what tends to happen unless you actually go and get rid of all of the uh, dead ground when you're creating your new field but yeah I'm hoping this is going to be quite good like I say it gives us a much bigger area that we can harvest out of like I say, I've got all the harvesting done recently. Um, did get st some straw off this field, although I didn't get a lot of straw. I only did a couple of rows. So again, if our cows and pigs go ballistic over the next couple of months, and start having massive demands for straw and stuff, we might start running a little bit low. Because we haven't got any other crops now that are going to generate straw. Because our two canola fields here um, are not going to generate any straw for us. Um, and also, if I'm doing sorghum next year on my, on my fields, we won't get any straw next year either. So we may have to purchase um, straw bales again. Um, but we'll cross that bridge as and when and if we come to it, won't we, folks? Um, 
most important thing right now is to do. I'm also very tempted. Another thing. I'm very tempted to come round with the mulcher after I've harvested this field and get rid of all these bushes down the edges of the field. Get rid of all the bushes that kind of make it hard to see where the edge of the field is and at the bottom there because the mulcher does do that right that field is now i do believe ready just to be um let loose by the uh course play what we'll do that one's a bit he's not found I find that very hard to believe we have been working with great fields on And it just took a little while to update that fact. Okay, right then. Great job. Course play field work. Field position. Nice in the middle. 6.2. We'll do 6. Number of headlands. We'll do 6. Uh, very little clockwise overlap. Uh, we'll let him go up and down north to south. And we'll let him basically act as if the field's bigger than it really is. And we'll let him go and start. Now, hopefully it works. Um, we don't have the mod issue. We don't have the issue with the AI that stops working after a row. Which is a problem we keep having a lot just recently. Um, it has been suggested amongst the farm sim community that the problem with that at when a vehicle stops, like does one row of a field and then completely stops, does a turn around and do the next row, and the AI driver just sits there, it's because of an issue with um, either the vehicle itself or the tool it's pulling hasn't been coded properly. It, there's an there's an error somewhere in the mod for the AI and the AI doesn't know what to do. Um, so it's a case of make sure that um, make sure your mods are up to date and make sure mod authors update their mods to work with the current obviously game scripts, specializations and all that sort of stuff that giants have been fiddling with. <laughs> in recent updates so yeah definitely have a check if you're running into that problem that I keep running into quite a lot at the minute where like I say an AI worker will just stop randomly at the end of a row and not carry on with a field or auto drive or course play will also have a problem where the AI driver will not turn around and won't make a turn and carry on doing what it's supposed to do. Check the vehicle. Check the tool. See whether it's an actual base game vehicle and tool. If it is, then that's something that giants need to be made aware of. If it's a mod, tractor, truck, whatever, harvester, whatever, and the implement that is attached is a mod then you need to contact the mod author and say hey there's a problem with your mod where by 
the AI stops at the end of a, a row and can't turn round. Can't make, can't, doesn't know how to turn with your vehicle or tool currently. Carry on, we'll get this cultivated. I'm then going to have to obviously break out the stone collector and do some stone collecting. There we go, cultivating this field has been completed successfully. Hold up the Mandaco storm. Tell you what, it's nice to see the sunset on the map. It's not very often we get to sunset because normally I tend to do most of my recordings early in the day <laughs> on the map it's very rare I'm, I'm working this late on the map in a video so you don't normally get to see things like the sunset but here we are ladies and gents oh. next stop stone picking so I might as well keep this tractor now uh, I also need to do some lime spreading I believe certainly this field needs lime where I've joined it together um, within within the map so yeah I need to do lime spreading on that combined field and I definitely need to do lime spreading on this field now um so we'll be doing all of that in the next next video or maybe i'll do it off camera and again the aim being we want to get to september because we want to be doing um we want to be doing all the fun things grapes and olives in Generate another course. I'll let this guy run through the night now. He can do this. And then obviously, once I've done the lime spreading on the other fields, I can move him down to fields 10, 11, 9, 10, in, uh, 8, 9, 10, and then 11 and 12. Work through those. So through August now, 
the rest of August, I'm probably going to be tied up with um, stone collecting. So yes, well, probably a good idea to do that off the camera. Hey, ladies and gents, we've got stuff to do. Right, I'm going to quickly switch him over to slurry filling cows to BGA slurry on load. Slurry. And let this guy handle all my slurry deliveries now to the BGA. Because there's quite a bit in the um, cow pen. Find the cows. Yeah, 173,000 litres of slurry. So we might as well let him go and deliver all of that. Haven't we? Um, and as the sun sets on this lovely, wonderful map, um, what we'll do is we'll get little Mr. Skinny Wheels here. Skinny Wheels. We'll grab the old lime spreader. Have this guy doing some lime spreading for us. And that, ladies and gents, is going to be the end of today's episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more content very soon. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye for now. Cheerio.